Hitchhiking, is it a good idea? Look, it's either gonna be one of your best travel stories or an absolute disaster. Now, I'm not here to tell you whether you should or shouldn't do it, simply tell you a little bit about my experience hitchhiking in Canada. I'm also gonna show you a little bit of the city of Calgary, which is where we hitched that ride from, and take you to Banff National Park in the mountains where we saw wild bears and the bluest lake that I've ever seen. I'll put the timestamps down below if you wanna jump ahead to any of those things. Otherwise, welcome to my channel, Roxanne Taylor Media. Now let's go. Then across the river, we stumbled into a free music festival. The city had plenty of things on and I noticed really clean, bright streets. Okay, so our friends had dropped us into the city in the morning and we assumed that we'd be able to get a bus back to where we were staying, but we were wrong. So we got a tram to the end of the line, then a random bus driver took us a few more stops in the right direction, and then we started walking. So it turns out there's no public transport to get from Calgary City to Strathmore where we're staying, which is about a 45 minute drive. So one bus drove us a little bit of the way, dropped us off. And now we're going to try our luck hitchhiking down a highway, which we've never done before, but there's two of us, we should be alright. We got this, we got this. I reckon. And up the thumb went. Do not show this video to my mother. <laughs> <laughs> it was harder than I expected and took a while for anyone to slow down. I'm taking us to the way that we can get off there. Can we? That's that okay. Just a minute. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. Yeah? We can get off there. Thank you. He has a crowbar in his hand. I'm scared. A guy just picked us up. He pulled over in this red van that looked creepy. And then he was like, where are you going? He's going to a town about 10 k's up the road. So we're like, yeah, all right. And then he leans over and unlocks the door with a crowbar. And we just look at each other like, fuck, did we get in? And it's a van, it's like murder a van with paint and tools in the back. Scissors. <laughs> oh but we God. did it and he was lovely. He's a guy from Lebanon and he just drove us 10 k's up and just wished us well on our way and gave us his phone number in case we need any. That's not creepy. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. Joe. <laughs> onwards, it. onwards and upwards. We got to chest me up. And now we're just trying to get, we're probably about halfway and someone's just stopped. Oh my God. Round two of the murder series of Roxy. <laughs> yeah, don't keep them waiting. Lift number two was also a migrant from the Middle East, making me wonder if the hitchhiking culture is more prominent there. Strathmore High School, we are in the town. We were going to walk the last little bit, but then our friends decided to come and pick us off. Yay, hitchhiking for the win. Hi, bitches. Hi, Jenny. Hitchhike number three to get home. We hitchhiked him. Did you? Did you? Yeah. yeah. All the way from Calgary. Calgary. <laughs> I've always wanted to go hitchhiking, so I'm so glad I finally had the chance to do that in Canada. Now don't go anywhere because there's more to come in this video, but I just quickly want to find out about your hitchhiking experiences. If you've ever done it, did you have an epic success or an epic fail? Let me know in the comments below and also please consider hitting that like and subscribe button to help me out with that old YouTube algorithm. All right, now let's head to Banff National Park. This place is freaking awesome.
three wild bears in the forest. Far out. <laughs> I came to Canada for a friend's wedding. Feel free to check out the wedding video I made for them on my website. Now this trip to Banff was part of the epic wedding week. <laughs> hey Edwina, are you scared? No, I like it. <laughs> That was so bad. Are you scared? Oh, no. <laughs> Jenny. I'm not scared. I think I'm okay. I'm okay. Unless we lift this up, and then not so much. Is a prohibition oh, on alcohol. That tastes pretty damn good. Yeah. It's actually a video. Oh. There's the newly married couple, Jeremy and Carly. We had the group lunch at the top of Lake Louise Lookout with an epic view and then went to check it out at ground level. As you can see, Lake Louise was super busy, but you can jump in the car and drive around to find some quieter spots around the Rocky Mountains to admire. The coolest thing was driving through the mountains and seeing wild bears. There were even bears close to the top of the town of Banff. So this is Sulphur Mountain. Now it gets its name because there is sulphur here and I am not going to lie, it is a little bit smelly, a little bit like bark. and it's a lot faster than the one we went on the other day. <laughs> Welcome to our beast. She's a weapon. <laughs> so four of us hit the road super early and we're headed to Pito Lake or Pato Lake, P-E-Y-T-O. Now apparently this lake, the water is bluer than Lake Louise where we were yesterday. So I'm super excited to check this out and I'm going to be testing my new Sony a7 III uh, with a fixed 28mm f2 lens. So let's go and check it out. Australia. Now this was easy to get to with a 15 minute walk from the car park to this. It's pretty it's super beautiful. Worth that That's shitty walk. So this is amazing. I've never seen water this blue in my life. That was the bluest water that I've ever seen in my life and I'm so glad that we made the effort to get up early because when we arrived there was pretty much no one here and now just as we're leaving at about 8 o'clock there's a few people arriving so oh, that was amazing. Thanks for coming along guys on this crazy adventure of mine. Now that's all from Canada for me. Please hit that like and subscribe button guys and I'll see you soon. One, two, three, cheers. <laughs> that's bad, that was yeah, but we need to get the first one. Are you in focus? I'm gonna say yes.